you know, just treat everybody like their family. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. And, and you know, treat them right, you know, and don't really try to sell them anything. They're going to do business and they're going to do business with the person they feel the most comfortable with, period. So I started, you know, building this new kind of business founded on people, not money and deals and transactions and all that good stuff. And, you know, long story short, 2008 to 2014 was kind of the, the you know, that was kind of when I built this little empire. And um, by 2014, I was selling 100 properties and I sold 100 properties ever since. Um, so the real magic to it all is in 2000, at the end of 2007, as I was getting back into real estate, um, I kept hearing from a lot of people because there was a lot of foreclosures. They wanted a weekly list of foreclosures, weekly, weekly, weekly list of foreclosures. Please send me a weekly list of foreclosures. So I started sending this weekly list of foreclosures <clears throat> to these clients. And at some point I decided, you know, I'm just gonna send this to everybody. And then as the foreclosures went away, it kind of morphed into this weekly report email thing that I make every week. And I didn't know it at the time, but what I was doing was I was building a personal brand. A personal brand is built on original, consistent content. So I was making the email every week. It was original. It's not a drip campaign or some automated email BS thing. Anybody that's doing that needs to stop right now. And I, it was consistent because I did it every single Wednesday. It's went out every single Wednesday since 2007, okay? And it's literally now, now that I'm where I am, I haven't made a cold call in four years. I've made a million dollars every year. Um, I've sold 100 properties. It's because of that personal brand I built with the email. And now I'm at this point, I'm not in the growth mode anymore. I'm in the, I'm satisfied with where I am mode and now I can live off of my database mode, right? Um, and so that, that's what I would wish for all of you guys. You know, I would love to see you take your business and turn it into an automatic business. Whereas you're not chasing business, business is chasing you through your personal brand that you build. It takes a long time to do it and it's a lot of hard work. But when you get there, you know, you, you can maintain the income, whatever income that you wanted, and then you have time to go do other things. Like I build other businesses or, and I spend time with my family and different things like that. So let me just give you the theory, okay? And it's been proven over time. And, and then I wanna tell you how, how you can get there, okay? I'm gonna give you the theory and I will give you the exact thought process and actions to put it in place, okay? So just visualize all this. Whatever you want your income to be, let's say 250, 500, a million, whatever it is, one and a half million, whatever your income, you know, 100,000. Some people just want to make 100,000. I know agents like that. They don't want to make a million. You know, they want to make 150 and they're happy. Whatever you want your income level to be, what you have to do is you have to build your database year over year until you're making that much money. Okay, so this is what I call the growth mode of your business. The growth period is when you're calling a lot of new clients you never talked to before. Okay, well, what you want is you want a good balance between new clients and old clients. You have to maintain the relationships you have and you have to, you have to go after new relationships you, you've never talked to before, you never talked to these people, and you want them to enter into your sphere, into your database. Okay, the bigger your database is, the larger your income is gonna be. Okay, if you notice, there's agents that, there's agents that wanna make 250, okay? They work, 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 they get up to 100, and then they stop trying to create new business and they just kinda of rest back on their database. Those people continue to make 100,000 every year. They wanna to get to 200, but they can't get there because they're not talking to new people ever again. They're just focused on their past clients. See, when you, when you stop going after new business and you just focus on your past clients, your, your income will just plateau right there. Okay, so think about where your income is right now and think about what you're doing in your business. And if you're not going after new business, then your income is just gonna stay the same. And you, at the same time, you gotta be working that database. You gotta be really getting in there. But 
But if you're not adding to the database, your income's not gonna go up year over year over year. I always wanted to beat my last year. Every year I wanna beat, beat last year, last year, last year. Um, that's how I've always been. And so to beat last year's income, your, your database has to grow from last year to this year, okay? So if you wanna get up to 200, you, you work, 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 build your database up to 200 and then boom, we're just gonna live off that 200 with our database. We're gonna, we, and you guys have to start implementing a weekly email to your entire database. That's the foundation of everything. Thank you.